you either go into hundreds of auditions during the day, or you make a big break. And a lot of these, a lot of these actors are very stressed out, very sad, very depressed. Uh, we have like the highest turnover rate of people moving into LA and moving out the same day due to the film industry. People can't make it. Your dreams are broken. This is the land that you, you, you guys stay strong, especially in the film creator, creator side. But my tool was basically using my skills and technology to give actors a little bit of confidence. It's like if I were to just sit there and play, or practice three throw shots or do a take home Tybo video. That's what my system does. And it's the only system ever developed to this level. And uh, I did have some investors. It's still kind of in a slow moving process. But uh, I think the key here that I wanted to tell you guys about is technology is moving so fast that I just use technology as my platform to, to share an idea that could make money. And what's cool about this is it's a platform to train people in the medical field, people in the military, people in simulation. Um, I'm not going to show any of the prototypes today because I uh, don't have any of that. But, and I think also here Alterac really describes my profession. I'm not just a leader, I'm a, a media designer, a thinker, uh, a web designer, kind of all together in one. And that's kind of you know, what my title is. But during Alterac, I started doing a lot more film and a lot more editing. And I felt that editing was my niche and that's what I wanted to move on into. So um, after about a year, I, uh, after a year of graduation, I started editing uh, like a small documentary, some microsystems, some web projects, some stuff to kind of keep me afloat because I didn't want to join another company. Uh, I wanted to have a little bit more free time for myself. Our center is a little bit grueling. Uh, I got burnt out. I think a lot of people in our professions get burnt out very quickly. And I got an email from a professor, uh, from Sally Menke, who's Quentin Tarantino's editor. Now, she'd met me before. She's come up and speak with, spoken with me. Um, we've talked about writing and design in the future. And she wanted me to train as an apprentice for this film. So I can imagine the email I got, like, Quentin and the idol of mine, I get to work for him. Sure, so our first meeting, we sit down, and she gives me the script. She says, OK, read the script. And I just want to let you know that Quentin is going to shoot his first film digitally. He's never done this, but Robert Rodriguez has convinced Quentin that you can do the same with the digital camera as you can with the film camera. So it's all excited. I was going to sort of be this media IT person where I was responsible for getting footage to Quentin's private computer uh, through internet, stuff that I've learned, stuff that I picked up through my entire career. So I was going to build up this network, and I got this high hat on me, and I was like, this is going to be the best time. Following week, Quentin decides to know he's going to shoot film and he's going to edit in traditional film, which means that we don't edit via computer, we edit on film, film strips. So we basically run film through a bench, you cut it, you tape it, whatnot. And to see it, you put it on a bench and you're able to look at it. So it's, it's a format that I wasn't taught in, so I had a, a very large learning curve. And I stepped on this team not knowing anything. And I was very ner nervous because, you know, I'm really good with computers and now I have to learn another craft, which is, is very tough. And we started getting dailies for Quentin that day, so I was learning all this stuff. And this is, uh, I brought this in, it's a, it's a split reel. Basically, you just unscrew it. And this is the core which the film comes on. I don't know if you guys have seen this. And then you put film on here, you put your sound, and also your film. So I had to learn how to sync film, I had to learn how to mark, mark film, and I had to co-film and whatnot. So my learning curve was, was just really tough. And the great thing about this experience is when we're done with the film, and we ultimately have to put it into a digital format. That's just how the film companies work. This format here, nobody does anymore. Quentin was the only one out of the entire film industry rented this equipment for the year. Because nobody cuts on the film. Everybody's, everybody's digital. And I sort of got to go to this like, museum. Really cool. It's like I got to you know, travel back in time and learn this great, this great craft. But ultimately, we have to move all this stuff into a digital format, where I got to step in and build up these really cool networks. I got to deal with uh, motion graphic companies all over the world that 
data that work on the film. 